Righto, who's got the first question? And one at a time, please, and make sure it's sensible. If I hear anything that is not to do with what this selection's about, then this uh, press conference will be over. Mr. Mr. Peters, Mr. Peters, uh, hey, hey, Mr. Fisher, yes. Mr. Peters, are you going to call Mr. Luxon or are you waiting for Mr. Luxon to call you? Oh, look, I'm waiting to know what the final result of this election is, and it's clear we won't know until the 3rd of November. Mr Peters, if you do end up in, in government, what are what are sort of your key objectives? Well, look, you're a bit late. I saw you the day before the election, never saw you before that, and you want to know the day after <laughs> what my views are. This will not cut in modern, responsible journalism. What is Half a million. Uh, yes, sir. So you, will you do the sensible thing, like Luxon is being um, optimistic that he will go across the line? Would you entertain him, um, or would you happily sit across the line? The first thing we're going to find out, and first of all, I'm grateful to New Zealand people for bringing us home. Uh, but the first thing we're going to find out is what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. It's the facts. No more not knowing the numbers. And I think as people reflect, they'll begin to learn what mathematics is, which is what we're very bad as a country at the moment. And I, can news, news and I saw it last night. It was appalling. The uh, commentary at not understanding what they're looking at. You've always been about with, people... Yes, sir. With the overhang created by the Māori Party getting those seats, it's a very, very... Narrow contest. How no, no, much no, no. do what you think? How much, no, what do, you think, does, what how much do you think national Can I just tell you, you what it does? It balances things out in this, in this uh, uh, mathematical equation that's coming forward. What is your plan today, Mr. Peters? Talk to you. <laughs> I hope we get a decent question. Just <laughs> <right? laughs> <laughs> describe the campaign, Shane Jones. Well, hang on, we're going to be felons, so get other people here. The one might ask a question. Anybody else want to talk? Uh, yes, Mr. Peters. Yes. Uh, 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 would you anticipate Mr. Luxon waiting for the Waikato by election, a uh, poor Waikato by election, or would you hope that he would make a decision before that? Look, you know one knows, but I do not think that uh, this will be a matter of concern after the 3rd of uh, November. Could you just describe your campaign, Mr. Peters? How, how have you. Uh, I'd, I'd love to describe my campaign. We were cinderellaized, marginalised, shut out by the mainstream media the whole way, and you guys. I failed. Would this have been the toughest, ca toughest campaign you have uh, you have fought in the last 45 years? Mm. It'd be the toughest, yes. How By a long shot, because we were given no chance, and it showed in our lack of coverage and the demonising of New Zealand First. Even in a Friday's newspaper, one of the biggest in this country, perhaps the biggest, there was a full-on mistaken, deceitful attack. Media but, commentary. No, we still won. Media commentators mentioned your name that uh, a 78 year old may not be the future of this, uh, of this country. What do you have to say? Uh, well, they're not the future of this country and they never were. <laughs> they, they, they never did have a use by date. What, what? New Zealand first people. No, 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 excuse me. Yes. What are you looking forward to most over the next three years? Well, uh, look, first of all, this is a business called democracy. My job is to consult with my colleagues. We haven't had a chance to talk to each other, not even me and uh, myself and Shane. So we're going to talk to uh, my colleagues first, and then when we decided what we're going to do and what we're doing it with, we'll all let you know. But make no bones about it. They didn't last night see, the New Zealand people, nor in this campaign, just what an economic and social crisis this country's in. I regret that, because in the sober hours of the day, tomorrow, they'll wake up and start seeing what they didn't know. And when they do, some of the promises you heard in this campaign won't be worth confetti. What, Mr. Peters, 